Tank, uh, a lot of talk about Ryan and, and how he leaves his chin up. Is that going to cost him in this fight with you? Yeah, he definitely leaves his chin up. Errol uh, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford said they didn't get guaranteed money for their fight. Did you and Ryan get guaranteed money for your fight? Mm -hmm. We're fighting, man. Hey, hey, Tank, Javon, I'm sorry, I'm with Dish Network. Can you just look into this camera and tell the folks at Dish what to expect from the fight? Me too. Um, explosive fight. Explosive fight from both sides. Definitely. Javante, uh, the explosiveness is what's selling this fight, but it's what's going to win this fight for you, the stuff that doesn't sell paper. It's feints, defense, things like that. No. No. Yeah, for sure. Because is that what you were getting at when you said he's not a complete fighter? Yeah, he's not. He's not. Everybody that watch boxing knows he's not a complete fighter. So, to piggyback on that, who would you say? Confidence level. Do you feel that you can knock out any particular round? I can't say it right now, but uh, I, I believe so. Who would, you, who would you say had more power and speed between you and Ryan if you was unbiased? I mean, you're going to be biased to yourself. That's natural. But More speed and power? Yeah. For sure, I'm going to say me. <laughs> for sure. Tank, do you, see, do you see yourself as a legacy fight after this? Well, this is one of this fight a legacy fight that's gonna elevate you to the next level. Yeah, I, I think so for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what like type of fight it is. It's not just no like, regular fight. This really is a mega fight, right. and we're fighting at a young age. So, so I, you you're not sleeping on him, correct? Because nah. a lot of people are calling him a social media fighter nah, and I'm saying not, he's nah. not that fighter. Yeah. You see what he really is, correct? Yeah, yeah I'm not sleeping. Javante, you know, I'm sure you believe you could knock him out in any way. So with that said, why, why the rehydration clause? Is it the art of war? You know, that game? Why, why? I mean, that's what happened when you're the A side. Then that should have came in at 126. <laughs> Is that taking advantage of his anxiousness to get that, that money in that big fight? You know? No, I just... You gotta be smart. You can't just be a fighter, bro. That's what... That's what they want you to be. They want you to just uh, take the fight at 150 and take the fight at 160 and this guy walking around at 170, 180. That don't make sense. Does that, if you if you, you beat Ryan, what? To say, does that give them something to say yeah, though? For sure. But does that give them something to say that yeah. have, where they wouldn't? Yeah. I mean, what the people? Yeah, for sure. If you if you beat Ryan, where would you place yourself on the pound for pound list? I don't really pay attention to the pound for pound list because it's just opinion. I really don't. I don't. I don't pay attention to that. What would you say? Another question from Bush. Absolutely. So you have so many celebrity fans, Tank. Uh, have you ever been starstruck by any of your own fans? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. Who are you looking forward to seeing in the front row? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. What were you saying to uh, Bernard yesterday in New York City? I was just telling him that he know that this, his guy not not like that. He know that. He know that. What would you say to people that say boxing is dead? It's not. I don't think boxing is. It's just a lot of clowns that's, that's entering boxing. That's it. Boxing is not dead. We got so much. I mean, uh, we got Benavidez and um, Plant coming up. There's a lot of great fights coming up. Boxing definitely dead. We got um, Fulton and um, what's, what's the other guy? What would you say? What would you say is your best? At, uh, what would you say is Ryan's best attribute that would uh, would cause or pose a threat? Any kind of threat to you? His left hook. That's all he had. Left hook. Are you gonna try to like draw that left hook out early in the fight to kind of figure it out, see the angle, like that, bait it out of him early? I mean, he. That's all. He feed off his left hook. Everything is off the left hook. Or his brick hand. His brick hand. Left hook. Or the left hook, or left hook to the body. That's all he got. It has to be special for the face of boxing Canelo to be rooting for you and, you know, essentially possibly be passing you the torch. How do you feel about that? Uh, he must have seen some, some uh, things uh, and can't with Ryan. <laughs> You know what I mean? No. Yes, sir. So you didn't see that, that same fire in his eyes that he said he saw in your eyes? In his face? I mean, 
You gotta think about what well, today you gotta think about he's home, he's in front of his people, he's gonna look like that. He's gonna be hyped like that. Yeah, he's, once you take somebody out outside outside that comfort zone, then that's when you really see. That's when you really Did you see. catch his chin a little bit when you put it? Yeah, I like, touched his chin. Do you look at that like okay, you're not even saying it, like you're not doing nothing now. That no, lets no, me no, know no, what no, kind no, of no, 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 I'll take that. I'll take that But was that you being the boss, like letting him know? Huh? Was that you letting them know ahead of time what it's going to be? Nah, I was just touching it and see if it was soft. And his chin is definitely soft. And that's a fact. <laughs> We're going to move down a little bit, guys. That's a fact. Thank you, Javante. Thanks, Kenny. Uh, Javante, you've been in fights like this before. This is probably his biggest fight to date. What do you think that's going to be like for him to come fight? Uh, it's going to be different for him. He ain't never, he ain't never, he ain't he ain't been, he ain't been in a big fight like this. How do you think that's gonna affect him? I don't know. He's talking about mental health and things like that. This, this bring that, this bring all that out. For sure. Like if you've been in it, like if you're a fighter, you know. It take a lot to be able to stay focused and walk that walk. You know what I mean? And actually fight in front of that crowd. He ain't really been in front of no big crowd like this. You know what I mean? So. And this is the hurt. It might, tri it might trigger. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Do you think that he has the experience that you've had in the ring when you guys compare records? No. I don't think so. Not really. So he, he really hasn't fought anybody except maybe Campbell, according to you. And how does how does that play into the, the fight? For Campbell, for uh, Tuna, that's about it. I mean, this, this is this is this is a test for him. This is a test for him, also a test for me. But yeah, this is definitely a test for him. How is it a test for you? I feel as though he's, he's a good fighter, he's just not a complete fighter. You know what I mean? I don't want to take nothing away from him, but it's a, it's, he's not a slouch. I want to say that. He's not a slouch. He's not someone you can look over and things like that. You know what I mean? So, definitely going in there with stay focused, stay sharp, and focus on the task. And just like somebody mentioned earlier, uh, what do you feel? When Canelo says that it's, there's one guy that he likes to watch fight and that everybody should see fight, it's Gervonta Davis. I feel as though that's, uh, that means a lot. You know what I mean? That means that you know, it's about time for me to get back to the, to the gym so I can work on some stuff so I can be able to continue to have people like that. You know what I mean? Just having somebody like Canelo or Top Dog like that actually speaking like about me. A lot. Push harder to be great. Thank you, guys.